A Catholic cardinal tells journalists that only the Holy Spirit will be hijacking the church's synod on synodality. The comments came during a press conference at the Holy See press office today. It was just one comment making headlines, especially surrounding the German synodal way. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tannhauser has more from Rome. The global synodal process is different from the German one. Cardinal Mario Gregg used clear words today distancing the so-called synod of synodality from the German synodal path, where activists and bishops have called for a change of church teachings around controversial topics, such as same-sex marriage or ordination of women to the priesthood. Pope Francis started the, the process of soliciting feedback and opinions from the faithful around the globe only last year. So far, the Secretariat for the Synod has received more than 100 reports from bishop conferences across the globe. Cardinal Gregg expressed his satisfaction with the participation and the positive feedback he and his co-workers have received. Asked about the controversial German synodal path, he quoted from Pope Francis's letter to the German church. The Holy Father emphasized in it that it was important not to ignore any pressing issues, but to listen to all concerns without losing the census ecclesia, so the sense of the church. And on a different occasion, Pope Francis also commented on the German synodal path, saying a second Lutheran church would not be needed. Also present at today's press conference was Cardinal Jean-Claude Hollerich, the president of the Commission of the Bishops' Conferences of the European Union, in short it's known as Comitze, is the general rapporteur by the Senate of the Synod of Bishops. This means he will generate the final report and give recommendations to the Holy Father. Recently, Cardinal Hollerick drew a lot of attention regarding a comment on homosexuality and church teaching. He said it was time for a fundamental revision of doctrine and interpreted Pope Francis' statements on that topic in a way that change might soon occur. Today, he clarified that not a change of doctrine is needed, but a change of attitude. All people should feel welcome in church. Like Cardinal Gregg, Cardinal Hollerick was also optimistic about the synodal process and expressed excitement about the synod which will be held next year. In Rome, Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN News Nightly.